Have you ever encountered a kid who asks a lot of questions? A kid who asks the whys? When that kid grew and became a teenager, instead of asking the whys, he is now debating your answer and prove you wrong. If you have, that kid who became a teenager, you would consider it to be very annoying. Do you agree? I was that kid. Stubborn, Mr. Know-it-all, hard-headed, always thinking that he is right, argues, listens to what he wants to hear. I was very hard to mentor because I would always think that in one aspect or another, I am better than the one who will mentor me. I accepted that fact for a while, thought that I can do things my way. So instead of looking for an actual mentor, I listened to Zig Ziglar and his motivational audio presentations. Then in one of his seminars, he said, one has to have a mentor in order for him to succeed. Even Einstein haven't had a teacher. That was then I realized that I needed a mentor. But the transition was never easy. I had one mentor in the corporate ladder and consult him from time to time regarding decisions with my peers, the team I'm handling, and how to let my boss see the things I've done for the company. He has provided me a lot of insights, but I still would question his suggestions in my mind. I guess stubborn old me was still there. Then I learned to just accept what works for me and just neglect what doesn't. Before I joined the Toastmasters Mango, I have already attended Toastmasters San Miguel Branch twice and was thinking of joining their team. Then I saw my mentor. She is witty, knowledgeable, and very conversation. I see her as someone who can provide guidance and support, someone who can empower me. Let me be without judging, but guide me to accomplish the tasks that I desire to achieve. Toastmaster Vanessa is the real deal breaker. Why I choose Toastmaster Mango Branch. Though I have joined two meetings with the team, with the San Miguel team, and I was impressed in how they conducted it. I also saw potential mentors there. When we communicated, I see that I can learn from her, that she knows how to handle a prodigal protege like me. See, she understands that I already think that I am good in speaking. Confidence is my strength and probably my quality of voice too. So she gives her a tailored feedback in order for me to improve and become better, not just in making and delivering my speeches, but also she ensures that I am prepared anytime. Since she knows or I think I know what I'm doing, she discussed only when I ask for help. Mind you, the previous speech, it was not my best. Well, if you consider the goal of the speech, I was way out of mark. So in this speech, she ensured that what happened the last time won't happen again. And yes, I got my fair share of lecture. She then told me, Basaha og tarong ang objective. Og ang PowerPoint presentation, ha? I replied, Diba sa man, diri lang tarong. The level of respect we have for each other, the way she uses her personal experience and knowledge, is tailored to my way of learning. I believe I have found a mentor who truly understands how to deal with me. She even supports me in my adobo chicharan business. Aside from buying, she also spread the word to their office. That is unconditional support. The stubborn know-it-all me still wants the service. At the same time, the want and urge to learn is greater. I was a prodigal protege. Now, I am a work in progress. I become a mentor. In the future, I will sure I will use the guiding principles of Toastmasters.